welcome back to another edition of Educational News. I'm Tamara Conradi, and I'm here with my co-anchor, Dan Whistler. We have been talking about two very important components of a successful learning environment, energy and cognitive processes. You know, everyone's a leader by choice or default, and our energy matters. If we have high energy and we're passionate and joyful, and really, really able to create an event, great things will happen in our schools. And Dan, you know, you've been talking about cognitive processes. What are some of the key cognitive processes we want for our kids? Thank you, Tamara. Looking at Dr. Shank's cognitive processes underlying learning, he looks at three different areas, conceptual, analytical, and social. But the key word in each one is processes, and that's what, when we look at our classroom, that's where teachers need to focus. It's not so much on what kids are learning, but how they're learning. Uh, the key is you can learn in any one of those areas, and that's what we want students to focus on is the process, the why of what they're going through. And to take a look at that, I'd like to throw it out to Ken Willard in the field. Ken, what's going on at SDEC Elementary in regards to process in the classroom? Well, we're understanding um, clearly that uh, there is a, an energy level that is important in, in uh, learning. Um, and when the energy level is low, people devolve into things as, such things as uh, uh, thinking in the, uh, like a victim uh, or like um, uh, being afraid, afraid to take chances, afraid to uh, ask questions, afraid of looking bad. But when we, we can raise those energy levels to a point where a person is willing to have an experience and learn from that and learn from uh, failing in that experience and then move on to um, getting along well with people and working in teams and all those kinds of things, the energy level begins to rise as those kinds of uh, changes take place. And then uh, the enthusiasm develops and engagement uh, increases and kids uh, and adults as well. Uh, can't get enough, and they, they stick with it. So we have a telephone ringing here, and uh, probably somebody needs to answer that. But uh, that's a distraction, one of the things that happens in learning, things that pull us away from the learning process. And, uh, but uh, we, we really believe that when we understand that when we can raise the level of energy to where a person is actually creating and thinking beyond where they are, that learning is really taking place, and it has nothing to do with the grade that you get for that period of time. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Educational News. See you next time.